This is the tiny classroom where a handful of children from Afghanistan's Nangahar province attend second grade. During today's lesson, the students are improving their skills in reading and writing in Pashto. They have few school supplies, no desks or chairs, and no electricity, but the children and their teachers work hard to get around these shortcomings. Afghanistan has made huge strides in recent years in improving children's access to education. The number of primary school students has risen from just one million to more than eight million in the past decade. About a third of those students are girls who were forbidden from studying during the Taliban regime. But as enrollment has skyrocketed, infrastructure lags far behind. Only 40 percent of Afghan schools are in permanent buildings, while many classes like these take place in makeshift shelters or out of doors. <laughs> Along with the lack of facilities, the level of poverty in much of Afghanistan is another obstacle. Many families can't afford basic supplies for their school-age kids. Afghanistan's struggling educational system has become a major area of interest for international donors. The World Bank has pledged $250 million to Afghanistan's education ministry over the next two years, and countries like Denmark are also big contributors. But with so many schools in need of help, it will take some time before the benefit of that aid reaches these young students. <laughs>